Last night I saw a clip for the DJI Neo drone and I was, I was extremely convinced. I was like, yeah, I, I gotta have this. I gotta have this in my bag. So right now I just have the DJI Mini 4K. The Neo comes in at a price point at about, I think like 200 bucks, pretty cheap, doesn't break the bank. What I've been doing lately, it just feels right. This joint is so compact. Look, look at this. It's like the, su I mean, it barely covers my face. It's got my hair, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure, anyway. Like, bro, I'm way too excited to use this. I'm about to test it out. Obviously my arm is jittering here because I haven't vlogged with a tripod in a minute. So I'm at one of my favorite spots. Usually I come here all the time. I, I ride my bike. If you guys want to know the equipment I'm using, Sony a6600 shooting on S-Log2, Sigma 16 millimeter 1.4. I have an ND filter on it as well because it is pretty bright out here. I bought this drone because I wanted some cool follow me shots, like some over top, some behind, some low. I hate vlogging in public, especially outside, but it's something you just gotta get used to, especially if you're creating content. Start on this drone, see what we got. This is an overview. I've been flying and piloting drones for about a year now. I am in no way, shape, or form a professional. I am technically just a hobbyist as far as when it comes to drone piloting, flying, whatever you want to call it. I wanted to add this to my bag because I go ride my bike a lot. I play basketball outdoors a lot, and this just seems super simple. It doesn't even break the bank, it's $200. One thing that did surprise me about this last minute when I turned it on, because I was just looking for the uh, SD card port, it has internal memory. Now it doesn't have any of the directional sensors to where you know it could navigate and, and uh, avoid obstacles. However, if you just got it like following you and there's nothing really in your path, it'll do the job. Uh, one thing I was a little worried about was uh, because of the bridge that I was on, there's a, a few branches that are going over top of the bridge, so I thought, what if this hits a branch and then it's cooked? I'm on my bike, yada yada. Now, the one thing is, I didn't really get to test it too long because I just wanted to test it before the sun went down. So I rode my bike to the trail, that takes me probably about 20 minutes, and then I started recording and sun started going down, the wind was getting pretty strong as well. Uh, one thing about this drone is that obviously it's lighter. Uh, the wind resistance on it is not as strong. Pretty simple. Landing. Yeah. yeah, I had to catch that. Anyways, you get the gist of it. It just picks up your face and it'll take off right there. This is the third drone I've owned. I've had the DJI Mini 3 uh, with the RC2 controller, the touchscreen controller. I currently have the DJI Mini 4K, and this is my third one. I will say, just from my experience, especially as a new flyer, hobbyist, be very, very careful with, with these drones. I, th I think uh, as far as landing, anything like that, you may have a little more trouble if you're not as experienced. And I believe that these could be easier to crash. Just my two cents, just from what I'm picking up right now. Like I said, I'm not a professional. I'm just a hobbyist. I have fun doing this stuff. I, I enjoy creating. If you want to end up creating just for fun, this doesn't break the bank. 200 bucks, have some fun. Learn how to pilot. Appreciate you guys tuning into the vids, man. Um, that's all I got for now.